Hi Capricorn, welcome to Carol's Universe Tarot Readings, Tarot Readings from the Heart. Thanks ever so much for joining me on your 21 card Gypsy Tarot spread. What we're going to do, but well, it's a Gypsy Tarot love spread and as you know in your general reading, what we're doing is we're looking at, uh, that was the general, so if love came up in the general I'm sorry but this is just another focus on it. And if it was just a general reading, then this is the love reading for the month. Okay, so Universe Spirit, show what's coming in for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs. In terms of their love lives in the month of June 2017. What's coming in for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs. In terms of their love lives in a 21-card Gypsy Tarot spread. In the month of June 2017, show me. Okay, so we're going to split the deck into three, like so. And we're going to collect that back up here, like so. And then what we're going to do is we are going to start laying the cards. And yeah, the rows of seven, like so. Three, four, five, six, seven this across like so four five six and seven oh. right and then we've got another one here second row two um three four Five, six, and seven. And then we've got one more row here. One, two, three, four, five, six, and a seven going on there. Okay, that's it. Let's have a look at your reading then for Love for 2000 and June 2017. I've done the love readings again. You know, I don't do them every single month. I like to do different, um, like for example, maybe for July, I'm going to be doing a Lenormand reading with tarot, though, which is really fascinating to do, I find. So we'd probably be looking at doing that as an additional spread. I like to do the normal general spreads and then an additional one. I thought we'd do another Love uh, Gypsy Tarot spread because we are midway through the year, halfway through the year, and I just thought it would be nice to do that. So let's have a look at... This is the crowning area. So usually how I do crowning areas now is I look at the mental and emotional, sorry, the mental and emotional is here. And the first row here, this is what the situation is. This is what's making you or influencing your mental and emotional situation around love. Here is what the present situation is. And this is what's influencing. This first card will be what's, well, what's influencing the present situation going on around love. We then look at the uh, hopes. So this could be the situation that's influencing your hopes. It could be that what your crowning thoughts are. And the same with expectations. We've then got what the hidden facts. This has nothing to do with you. This is what's coming in, what you're going to experience. And then you've got the, um, you know, the uh, immediate future and outcome. So around, um, we've got the seven of swords as the situation around your mental and emotional. So it might be that, you know, uh, Capricorn, within your love lives at the moment in June, there might be, it could be an air sign person, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Seven of Swords would usually represent an air sign. So this could be a person here. If it is a person, it's probably a liar or a deceiver. Seven of Swords characters usually show up in tarot to let you know that somebody's being sneaky, okay? So it might be that the situation around your mental and emotional is a very sneaky one. Somebody's being deceptive. They're not being honest usually when you get the seven of swords we're going to have a look at what the mental and emotional is so what is your mental and emotional situation concerning this well you've got six of wands showing up but that's interesting capricorn how does that figure then well mentally and emotionally you can't there's only one way that you can really see uh the six of wands i mean not unless this is the person that you're focused on and this is the situation well it is a situation it's a deceptive situation going on but as a result of that mentally and emotionally you're the six of wands it's either that you don't give a shit and you don't care or this is something that doesn't really affect you too tough because i think that you know if you're focused mentally as the six of wands it's about success and it's about overcoming emotionally 
uh, with the Six of Wands, it's the same thing. It's the same deal. If you feel the Six of Wands emotionally, you feel good. That's because it's a good card. It's an, you know, it's a, it's a positive card. Is the Six of Wands. The Six of Wands also says, you know, uh, emotionally and mentally, I feel better than anyone else because this person is sat on a horse and it's aloft everybody else. So this person has a certain sense of, um, you know, being head and shoulders. There's a sense of arrogance even. Um, so mentally and emotionally, it might be that you're above this, maybe. Maybe this is something we could look at here with the Six of Wands. Maybe mentally and emotionally. It would be usually, you know, if I were to explain somebody mentally and they were the Six of Wands, this is somebody who's got a lot of confidence. Okay, this is somebody who has a lot of self-belief with the Six of Wands per, uh, card. This is somebody who has a lot of charisma. This is somebody who uh, is thinking positively and they are believing that they can move through a situation in the most positive and, um, you know, uh, most successful of ways. But I want to see why mentally and emotionally you're the Six of Wands here. Are you above something here, for example? Well, because of the Five of Pentacles. It might be that, you know, you have considered a relationship over here, Capricorn, potentially. Because you are the Six of Wands mentally and emotionally, and it's because of the Five of Pentacles. So it might, I think that you feel, you know, the situation is around, I feel, a deception here with the Seven of Swords. But I feel that you guys feel that you, mentally and emotionally, you're kind of out of that. I think that you're above it. I think that you're out of it. I think you're over it. Because when you get the Six of Wands, usually this would come up as, think there are cards in the tower that show progress. All right. They show progress. They show um, determination. They show movement, move, you know, forward movement. They show motion. And Six of Wands is one of those cards. It's not a stagnation card. It's not like mentally and emotionally you are the hanged man. Emotionally, you might feel that your, you know, your emotions are a little bit stuck. Mentally, with the hanged man, it might be that you are trying to look at something from a different perspective, which then, you know, with the tarot, different cards colour different things, okay? So it might be that mentally you're the nine of swords. You could have been the nine of swords here, and that's because of the five of pentacles. All right, so it might have been that you're really upset because you feel cut off from this relationship. Maybe because the situation is somebody's being deceptive, somebody's a liar, somebody's taking you for a ride. Somebody might have been trying to pull the wool over your eyes. But it doesn't change what the situation is with the Seven of Swords. But mentally and emotionally, Capricorn, I think how you're handling it with that Six of Wands is different. And I think you're handling this situation in terms of mentally and emotionally like I don't give a shit. Like I'm above this crap now. I really, really am. And I'm above this because of the Five of Pentacles. Maybe this was just some dumb affair. Five of Pentacles can be an illicit affair between two people. It can be, well, maybe, just maybe, I'm above this because this was some dumb affair and it doesn't really mean anything. Maybe I'm above this because this relationship for me didn't hold any emotional depth, which is another explanation for love with the Five of Pentacles, that a relationship doesn't have any type of religious or um, spiritual or emotional depth to it. It's cold. That's another explanation for love with the Five of Pentacles. For some of you guys, mentally and emotionally, Capricorn, it might simply be, well, I've got other means of support here with the Five of Pentacles. I've got a support. Because the Five of Pentacles means also that even through the, th you know, the deepest, darkest days, even when you've got nothing, even when you're feeling you know, depri deprivation, even when you're going through a terrible time, uh, materially, financially, you've always got support there. So that's another explanation for the Five of Pentacles. So it could simply be that you guys are, and I think you are mentally and emotionally, it's definitely above. We've got a very positive card showing up for you guys mentally and emotionally, uh, Capricorn. And for me, this is showing that you guys are above a situation here. Somebody's being deceptive with the Seven of Swords. This is a situation and as a result of that, mentally and emotionally, you're saying, you know what, I don't give a shit. I really don't give a shit. And you know why I don't give a shit? Because this relationship was just some little thing. It wasn't anything. All it was is some little play bullshit. And, you know, we were never going to get married, blah, blah, blah. Or it's, you know, this relationship doesn't really have a strong foundation. You know, I've been shut out in the cold or I've shut this person out. And you probably have. Because the Five of Pentacles, I've noticed, whenever I've done readings for people, a lot of, I've done face-to-face -face readings as well, and I said, have you shut someone else? And I says, and they've said, yeah. And I said, you know, are you an, an Earth sign? They said, what do you mean? I say, are you Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo? I say, yeah, I'm Capricorn, or Taurus, whatever it is. Sometimes this is the Earth sign. Because the um, Pentacles are on the window and people are outside of this window, sometimes this is an Earth sign shutting other people out. So it might mean that there's been a deception Mentally and emotionally, you're above it because you've shut out maybe your lover and somebody else, especially if this was an illicit affair. 
that maybe a lover had with somebody else. This could be the two people that you've shut out of your life. It can also be, well, you know, I'm above this because I've got support. I've gone through a really hard time, but I actually do have support. What's going on in the present situation in terms of love in June for you guys, uh, Capricorn? Well, the situation is around the Three of Cups. And we could have read that it's saying, well, the situation would be reconciliation. Three of Cups is a reconciliation card. But also it's about happiness. It's about partnerships, agreements, friendships. So it could be the situation around your uh, love lives at the moment. are It's not strictly about love. It might be about friendships. And, you know, in some way, shape or form, we could also affiliate it to maybe for some of you guys being here with this Five of Pentacles. But you don't care. You're above this bullshit now because you've got support with the Five of Pentacles. And that could be mirroring itself in terms of what the situation is in your lives in June. You know, this is the card of partying, drinking, celebration. So some of you guys, the situation might be that you're attending weddings and you're attending engagement parties. Your social diary is full, for example, with the Three of, Pen Three of Cups energy. And let's see as a result of that what's happening. So how does that manifest in terms of the present situation? in terms of love you don't want it seven of wands can also be that you know we could look at this two ways because threes represent many people it might be with the three of cups the situation around your love lives will be making friends and extending your network of partnerships which the three of wands often stands for as well and that's why in the present situation you guys might be beating, beating um interest off with a stick it's a funny card, but I know it's true. It's true with the seven one. These cards are multifaceted. Trust me on that one, guys. Seriously, you can't look at one card just and say it's that. It's, that would be ridiculous to ever do that within a reading. The seven of wands means several things. Seven of wands either means fuck off, sorry. It either means get lost. It means I don't want this. It means I'm rejecting you. But it also means, you know, oh, man, there's just too many people. There's too many of you, and I need to fight you off. That's another explanation for the seven of wands. It means sometimes when you've got too much. And you need to kind of reduce what you have. Seven of Wands can also mean when it says, you know, uh, I'm a fighting... A, it's not always that you're fighting enemies, though, with this Seven of Wands. It really isn't. Sometimes this card is where the seven, the Six of Wands on the bottom are saying, give it to me. So the Six of Wands are the fingers and the hands. And you're there and you're saying, no, I ain't giving it to you. So as a result of this Three of Cups being friendships, it might be for some of you guys, you're not interested in having a relationship. It might be you've got a lot of interest with the Six of Wands, but you might say no. It might be as a result of the Three of Wands, extending your network of friendships, going out, partying, having a good time, however that works out for you, Capricorn. It might be, yeah, you're beating admirers off with a stick. But what's the reason for the Seven of Wands showing up in the present in June? Because of the Queen of Wands. Because you're attractive. You're attracting in attention. So I feel that you guys are attracting an attention. I feel that you're beating admirers off with a stick because we know that the Queen of Wands is a very attractive female. We know that if we're going to be looking at somebody who's beautiful in the tarot, there are two main cards that you would look at for a really beautiful person in the tarot. No, no, actually, there are, I would say, the three that immediately come to mind to me for a beautiful, attractive individual is Queen of Wands, Empress and Chariot. Chariot shows a physically attractive, attractive, sorry, athletic individual, especially a male. Emperor shows a beautiful, gorgeous looking female and shows us the, so, no, 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 so does the Queen of Wands. She's the type of person that attracts men like flies. She's beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. So I feel that you guys here, you're beating attention off with a stick because you are the energy, Capricorn, off the Queen of Wands. I feel that you're this energy, I think that you're very attractive, I think that you're very alluring, and this is why the situation will be on the Three of Cups. You're going to be enjoying yourself, and as a result of that, it's manifesting as you, and also meeting new friends, making new friends with that Three of Cups, and as a result of that, I feel that you guys are going to be beating off attention with a stick, because you're very attractive, you're very alluring, and you're attracting a lot of things in, a lot of people in with this Queen of Wands energy. What's going on in terms of your um, hopes and uh, hopes and desires in terms of love in June, uh, Capricorn? 
Well, the situation will be around, and I think that this is more about, you know, some of you guys might be thinking about the past. And the only reason I you mentioned the past with the Six of Cups, it's not always about the past at all. It's ridiculous that we would always look at the Six of Cups as a past card. It's not. It is, a lot of the time, in a lot of instances, this is about the past. But this is not about reignition of the past unless you get it with a judgment card. You need an active card to show you something's coming back around with that Six of Cups. You know, not all the time. Sometimes you need card like the Two of Cups and Three of Cups to show you. But remember, this is in the present here, and this is the hopes. So it's nothing to do with that. In terms of hopes, the situation with the Six of Cups, when you get this card, it's all about loving relationships. That's what your Six of Cups is. I did a reading on myself. I had a really hard work with work, hard week with work yes, last week. And I just needed some downtime. And I decided that I would do a reading, just to see how, because I was really busy and really tired, it was really hot, and I says, you know, how will my day go today, universe? And it showed me the Six of Cups and the Eight of Pentacles, and it was my family offering me an opportunity to come and stay, because it showed the Ten of Pentacles with the reading, and it showed it would be coming in imminently. Also, it showed with the Knight, uh, it had the Knight of Wands, it showed that I would be going on a trip with the family, and we did. So it showed me the Ten of Pentacles family, and the Knight of Wands, it showed me that I was going with my family on a trip. And it was true, because on the Saturday, we went to Birmingham to go to a vintage fair in Birmingham. Uh, I live in Milton Keynes, and we went to Birmingham uh, to be a, 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 um, a vintage fair. So this is how the cards work. It showed me that my family, my Six of Cups, and the Six of Cups is a very close family relationship. We've got. It was my twin sister, actually, that offered me over. She offered me a, you know, a real offer. It was the Ace of Cups. So she was saying, it was an opportunity, she said, would you like to come over and stay for a couple of days down here and do your work from here, Kaz? I know you've been feeling under weather, really, really busy, really tired. Would you? And I said, it did me the world of good. I said, yeah, I'd love to. And then the Ten of Pentacles showed me with the family, with the secure unit that I was in, Ten of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands, I'd be going to see, we'd be going and we'd be travelling together. And we did. We went on a long distance, uh, a long distance trip to Birmingham from here, about an hour and a half drive. So this is what I'm trying to say to you. Six of Cups is not always about the past. We can't always look at that card in terms of that. It's ridiculous to look at that card in terms of the past. Some of you guys, it might be that you're, uh, you know, and I think that you've come a long way, Capricorn, to say that this is the past. So your, imagina your imagination may be on forming close bonds and close relationships with that Six of Cups, which is really what, for me, the card is about most of the time. And as a result of that, what is your hopes? Well, the Ace of Wands. Quickness. Now, the Ace of Wands is one of those difficult cards because it doesn't have a person on the card and it's one of the only cards in the tarot that doesn't actually show a figure on it. The Ace of Wands is all about quickness and motion and messages and messages and long-distance things. So the focus might be on a relation. It might even be on somebody that you met for some of you guys here. And it might be that your hopes offer communication because the Ace of Wands represents communication. If this is a long distance thing, it could be long distance communication. But why are your hopes for communication with the Eight of Wands? Because of the Six of Swords. Okay, that's interesting. I don't think this is, so, I think this is for you guys. It might be that you are, because the Six of Cups can be a fantasy card as well. So it can be a card where, and also these areas here I treat to be the crowning thoughts area. So this is what's going on with you. And this is what your thinking area is here. So you, your thoughts are focused on the Six of Cups. That is finding a true love. A true, one true love. A true love for me in my lifetime is my twinny twos. I call her my twinny twos because she's my twin sister. And she's the closest, loveliest sister you could ever find in life. I mean, she's my twin anyway. But she's just a really kind, sweet loving, wonderful, wonderful human being. And I was very honoured to be born with her, to have her as my twin, because I don't think I could ever have... I've got lots of other sisters, but there's definitely not a sister that I have as close as my twin sister. You know, she even has her own family. She's got her own boyfriend, she's got her own child, everything. But she always makes time for me, always. If I'm down, if I'm, you know, if I'm in need of some comfort, she's always there. She'll always say, come down, Kaz. You know, come down and spend, have some dinner with the family or, you know, come and stay over with us lot for a few days or we're going to be going on a trip for a few days. Do you want to come and, you know, stay with us on this trip? She always includes me. 
and it's been that way since childhood. She's just an, an absolutely wonderful, you know, wonderful human being who I couldn't imagine. You know, she is, if I can say, I suppose, the greatest love in my life is my twin sister. And I suppose, you know, it is that way for twins because twins do have a special bond. I've certainly got the bestest and the biggest bond with my twinny because she's a wonderful, wonderful human being. So this is why I feel that, I mean, this is different, obviously. This is romance for you guys. But this is what I'm saying. You're looking for a bond with that Six of Cups. This is what your fantasy is on, Capricorn. And that's why your hopes are for things to happen quickly. Because the Eight of Wands means speed. So you're hoping for something to happen quickly. Because I think you've moved on with the Six of Swords. Could also be that maybe you met someone. Potentially within the hope. So it could be that you're fantasising about that person with the Six of Cups. Maybe the focus is on having a loving bond with that individual. In which your hopes are the Eight of Wands. This person contacts you. Potentially because of the Six of Swords. Maybe you met them when you were out and about on a trip. But I think this is you guys. You've moved on. And now you're ready. You are ready for something to come in for a lot of you guys. What's going on in your expectations? Well, the focus is around a King of Cups. So this is a person showing up here. Okay, this is a water sign for some of you Capricorns. Uh, Capri uh, sorry, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, doesn't have to be. King of Cups is though a loving, loving individual, male or female. Okay, this is a sweet, supportive, kind, caring individual showing up here. However, around this in terms of expectations, what are you expecting in terms of love? There we go. You're possibly expecting to come together, temperance. Temperance sometimes means reconciliation. Sometimes it means to work something out. I want to see why we've got temperance, because it's one of those neutral types of cards. Because of the Knight of Swords. I think you had a message maybe from someone here. It's a quite a disjointed reading, it's interesting. You are expecting some form of a reconciliation maybe with someone. This temperance energy represents reconciliations to work something out. Could be because of the Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords usually means a message that's come. Could be something unexpected as well. Maybe you had an unexpected message. Maybe this is the person that you broke up with here. All right. I think what's happened here is for some of you Capricorns over in June potentially, is that the situation around your mental and emotional, where there was a deception that happened here, in which mentally and emotionally, you're kind of over it. You're like, fuck this. And that's because I got support from family. Or this relationship wasn't going to go anywhere anyway. Or, you know, these people dumped on me, so I'm now I'm locking them out. My boyfriend and my mate, you know, uh, cheated on me, so I, now I'm going to block their asses out. All right? You don't need this relationship. You're over it. Six of Wands is mental and emotional. It's good. It's confident. It's saying, I don't care. I've got enough already anyway. Who cares? I'm not bothered. So I think you're over something here for some of you guys here. In which in the present situation you are, the situation is you're going out and enjoying yourself, probably expanding your network of friends, having a good time. And that's why it's manifesting as in the present, the Seven of Wands. You're possibly beating interest off with a stick because you're attracting in the men or the, fe the males or the females here. Your hopes are for true love because the situation, the focal point, your brain, your mind is focused on true love with that six of cups. You've got a very romanticised idea about love in terms of your crowning thoughts with that six of cups. Which is why you are uh, hoping for things to speed up with the eight of wands. Because with the six of swords, mentally and emotionally, we could say probably here, it is a mental card. The reason is you seem to have moved on. Six of swords. You can see clearly now. There's nothing blocking you from having love come in. However, however, your expectations, possibly with that temperance card, are for a reconciliation. Well, why is that? Because maybe you had some unexpected news come in, an unexpected message. It seems to be from a king of cups because the situation is around a king of cups in which you might be expecting could be a, me a meeting up with this person. It could be meeting up to try and, you know, thrash something out, maybe manage something. It's not to say you have a reconciliation. Temperance for me can be a compromise. It can be forgiveness. But it's because there's been something unexpected. Maybe there was an unexpected message. Uh, Knight of Swords often represents... This is Page of Swords, though. Sorry, it's not nice. It's Page. 
This is called the knife. I hate it when I do that. It's the knife. Sorry, it's the page of swords. Same sort of thing. Page of swords isn't unexpected messengers, though, but it's a message possibly that you could have received anyway with that page of swords energy. However, the problem is, as well, is that if, in the hopes, this is you fantasising about a new relationship, maybe, with the Six of Cups, in which you're hoping for communication, because maybe you met this person uh, abroad or afar or a long-distance trip, Six of Swords, it could be in your expectations that the focus... It could be that this person is this King of Cups here, in which you're expecting the need to be patient, uh, temperance can also mean that you kind of, you know, patience. It means sometimes when you get temperance card, sometimes somebody was to say to me, you know, will I meet a tall, dark, handsome man tomorrow? And you get temperance, more than likely not, because it means you're going to need to be patient. Whenever you get the majors showing up for questions, a lot of time, when am I going to meet this? Or am I going to meet this person next week? Or, you know, am I going to fall pregnant within the next two weeks or something like that? And you get temperance. For me, it's kind of like a no. Any of the majors, temperance, potentially um, devil cards, handmans, those types of cards. They, you know, not so much uh, devil cards, but things like high priestess, they represent a need for patience because they're slow moving energy and they're majors. So for me, this is like, some of you guys might be expecting that you're going to need to be patient because with the Page of Swords, it means to withhold information a lot of the time, which is why I'm very dubious about ever saying the Page of Swords, unless it's somebody who's being argumentative. I'm very dubious to say the Page of Swords is about communication. If it is communication, then it's communication of the abusive kind, some of the time, uh, the aggressive kind. But I think that this is a case of saying that you guys here, the reason that you're going to need to, you're expecting to be patient, it could be because somebody hasn't contacted you with the Page of Swords. Page of Swords often represent delayed messengers. What's going on in your hidden factors? What's coming up hidden wise for Capricorn? Wow, it says that there's going to be a breakthrough. Ace of Swords could be communication here. And what's that breakthrough? What is hiding from you? Well, somebody is coming forward because you've got the chariot. And why are they coming forward? Because they're interested, page of cups, they want to tell you something. They want to express how they feel. I think this is somebody that you've met with these things here. I think there's somebody that you've met and I think they're coming forward. The, night, the chariot means somebody is coming forward. And the uh, page of cups is they want to tell you something, they want it, but it's of the lovely kind. Page of cups is expressing something, it's talking sweet nothings, it's asking you out on a date. It might be with these two cards that you're going to receive a phone call, for example going to have a breakthrough i think that you guys have met somebody here this is what i think has happened i think just bridging that gap capricorn some of you guys may have met someone here what's going on in the immediate future in terms of love for you well there you go situation will be two of cups a new relationship how does that work out uh nine of pentacles the immediate future shows the nine of pentacles this is not a relationship though that is uh, exclusive. So you're not going to be in anything really, really, um, you know, exclusive. It's not going to be that immediately you're going to be moving in together. This says, you know, this isn't, it doesn't have to be a friends with benefits relationship, but it can be that, you know, you're still single here with the Nine of Pentacles, but you're enjoying getting your whatever on. Do you know what I mean? Because the situation in the immediate future shows a relationship here in which what manifests from that is the Nine of Pentacles. Great sexual joy. A great earthly pleasure with this nine of pentacles but it's not an earthly pleasure where you're in each other's pockets not an exclusive uh, relationship why is it the nine of pentacles though in the um immediate future oh because of the tower mm, that's interesting well the situation is the two of cups a relationship in the immediate future but it manifests overall of the nine of pentacles and that's because of the tower not unless this is a sexual thing going on with here with the tower i don't see anybody crying i don't see anybody upset we'll come back to that that's interesting the situation for love is the nine of pentacles sometimes most of all for me with the nine of pentacles and love this is a card about uh, being single but enjoying uh the benefits of being single 
And that's because of the teller. Might be something sexual going on here. Maybe this is a great sexual relationship or something. We'll see what's going on in the overall outcome. I don't see any sadness. I see somebody who's kind of okay here, to be perfectly honest. But also, hmm. Because the situation's cards show what the situation is, what you're going to be going through. And it's saying there's a relationship here for you guys with this Two of Cups, in which the over the immediate future shows the Nine of Pentacles. So this shows to me that there is somebody who's in a relationship, but you're kind of still on your own. And why is that? Because of the tower. I notice two people are being thrown out of this tower. I think this is not an exclusive relationship. We'll see what the overall outcome cards are. Well, we've got the Ten of Wands as the overall outcome. This often means pressure. Sometimes in love, this can mean too much of a good thing. Sometimes this can mean that you've got too many options going on, okay? And you need to kind of calm things down a little bit. However, how does this manifest as the overall outcome? Okay, right. So this is something that doesn't probably last very long then here. Because the situation is around a relationship in which the overall, the immediate future in June is the Nine of Pentacles. If this comes forward in June here, then this will probably not last. Because the chariot can represent somebody wants to come forward or they're coming forward, but it can also represent a bit of a player type. Cards in the, the tarot for love that mean players. You've got your Knight of Swords, Knight of Wands. Knight of Cups to a certain degree, you've got Chariot, you've got Six of Pentacles is another one that can represent a player type energy. All of those types of cards where it's got one person, Devils show that as well. One person, two people underneath them, it shows somebody who's playing, especially that Six of Pentacles and the Chariot. The overall outcome is the Eight of Swords, restrictions within this relationship. And why is that? Because of the Page of Wands. I think that this is a player that some of you guys are dealing with, to be perfectly honest with you. I think that this Nine of Pentacles, because sometimes this is the card of the Gilded Cage, and I just get a feeling that this is telling me that you guys are waiting for something, some of you are waiting for something, and that's because your expectations have not been exceeded with that, te with that tower energy. I think your expect this is the card that says chaos, expectations have not been exceeded and that's why the overall outcome the energies the situation is the ten of wands it could be where somebody's trying to hide themselves for example the situation could be that this person that comes if this person comes forward i think it's this one here because it is showing a, so i think it's this person that is actually coming in possibly in june if it's not june it's the latter stages maybe of june and going into july but I, because these readings even though i do them for june they can easily span two to three months out into the future it's amazing how they do but they can do okay so I feel what's going on here is there is a relate the situation is a relationship here and I think that this comes forward okay sooner than you think because I think here that this is showing and the chariot can be a cancerian male or female and so can the king of cups cancerian male or female so I think this might be a cancerian individual possibly that we're looking at okay so, if I were to put this together, I think what's going to happen is this. Um, your mental and emotional, there was deception. There was a deceptive situation here. One in which, mentally and emotionally, you're over it, six of wands. You don't give a fuck. Because you've got friends, you've got family, you've got support. And you don't give a shit either because of this five of pentacles energy. Which says that maybe you saw the relationship going nowhere. Maybe you shut this person out because you are Capricorn and you are the Five Pentacles that's shutting this out. Could be that you shut out the boyfriend or girlfriend and the person that we're having the illicit affair with. It could be that, you know, with the Five of Pentacles that uh, you've got enough support already. But anything like that. But you sure as hell I feel don't need something here, mentally and emotionally. Therefore, in the present situation, Capricorn, what I'm reading for some of you guys is the Three of Cups. Your focus or the situation is around friendships. There's lots of friendships, there's partnerships, expanding networks of partnerships, friendships, going out, enjoying yourself. This is a card about enjoying oneself, you know, going to parties, drinking, eating the loveliest food, 
you know, weddings, bar mitzvahs, engagements, you name it. You're having a good time here. The situation is Capricorn is having a good time. And that's why. And as a result of that, you've got a lot of interest here coming in. Seven of Wands. And why are you practically beating it off with a stick? And why, are you ha why have you got a lot of interest in? Because you have the Queen of Wands energy. You're attractive. You're not just attractive, but, you know, whatever or... Um, You know, she's the type of woman that, you know, attracts in people. So basically, it's just saying that you're able to attract in lots and lots of energy, lots and lots of interest. You're attracting in lots of interest here, I feel, in June. Capricorn. And as a result of that, your hopes will be... Well, the situation is around the Six of Cups. I think you met someone. Doesn't tell me exactly that you met someone, but I think you did. Because around your hopes, we've got a situation that you're fantasizing about. The perfect partner with that Six of Cups. Being offered love. Somebody coming to you and saying, oh, you know, proposing. Can you see how this person's on, bent, on sitting on the floor and they're holding a bucket of flowers up to the girl? You know, this is your ideal here around your hopes. And as a result of that, your hopes are communication. You want a message to come to you. And why is that? Possibly with the Six of Swords, you met someone when you were out, when you were travelling, when you were on a trip. Your expectations are, well, the situation is about a King of Cups. So I think this is the person some of you guys might meet or you already met. In which your expectations are, well, I'm going to need to be patient here with the Temperance card. Well, why do you need to be patient? Because the person hasn't called yet, Page of Swords. Some readers want to say that Page of Swords is a card about imminent communication because it's a sword swords and air the air cards represent uh represent active energy so they say things come in imminently in my experience with the page of swords this often refers to somebody who's withholding information so for me you guys are being patient because somebody hasn't contacted you yet probably with that page of swords what you don't see coming in capricorn is there's going to be a communication breakthrough the centers around a communication breakthrough with the eyes of swords in which what you're not seeing is that this person is coming forward king of cups is coming forward with that chariot and why they're coming forward because they want to speak to you they want to communicate with you they might want to offer you out on a date blah 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 with the uh with the with the uh with the page of cups energy there's communication happening here so they might come forward and say, oh, you know, I haven't, I haven't contacted you in a while. And Page of Cups is always a nice card to get for communication because it shows the surprise communication coming in as well. So here we see this communication, and I think it does come to you sooner than you think. Because you've got, in the immediate future, the energies, the situation is about you and this individual. It could be a date that you go on. Now, the date might be... Um, Now, around this date, or this, you know, Two of Cups is not about, you know, long-lasting relationships. It doesn't have to be. It really doesn't. It can be that you're dating someone, talking to someone, communication card. You're getting on with them. So the situation will be around probably a date with the Two of Cups. And it's manifesting as the Nine of Pentacles. Maybe, just maybe, it could be in terms of love that you're not interested with this Nine of Pentacles. Because the Nine of Pentacles is about a solitary woman a lot of the time. It's about somebody who feels comfortable with her own space. This is about somebody who only looks at their own value and they look at what gives them value in terms of singularly. It's not usually... Sometimes this is a card that says, you know, I'm a bit tired of being on my own, I'm on my own and now I'm ready for the next stage. But this is a good number nine card. So this is a, situation is about a, a... I think it's about a date for some of you guys with that uh, two of cups. But it manifests... In the immediate future is the Nine of Pentacles, which says that this is a relationship that is probably not going to last the test of time with this Nine of Pentacles. And why is that? Because I think it didn't exceed your expectations. Okay? I think it didn't exceed it. I think that when you get the tarot, this, sorry, not the tarot, the tower, this often says that something that you had banked on, because you've been waiting for this person to call. And here you're hoping for a message and your expectations are to be patient because the person probably hasn't called yet with that page of swords energy. But they're coming. Chariot, the person's coming forward. And it's because they want to talk to you. They want to communicate sweet nothings. They want to tell you that they like you. Page of cups. You do have 
this energy of a date coming up around the immediate future. But it's manifesting as the Nine of Pentacles. So this either means one or two things. It might be that you go on the date and it doesn't work out because it didn't exceed your expectations. Or it could be there is a date, but maybe the person don't show up. Nine of Pentacles. Maybe they leave you stranded. It's one woman. Sometimes this shows up for a nice, luxurious place like a restaurant or a bar. So it might be that the, there is a date, but it manifests as the Nine of Pentacles. You're there all dressed up waiting. Maybe the person doesn't show up. And why don't they show up? Why are you on your own? Because of the tower. Maybe there was some chaos. Maybe, you know, they decided not to. But this says the tower will always show up when it says that our, um, you know, our thoughts and our belief system comes crashing down. It says that something was not solid to, to start with. So it might be that this person's just messed about. It's either be that you, they've turned up, you've not, you know, there's nothing in it for you with this Nine of Pentacles energy. You can see that. And it's because it's, you know, the, the Tower card, it hasn't exceeded your expectation. You know, everything, you know, everything you thought was going to happen with this, suddenly it doesn't. There's a realisation here. This can also be the realisation card. So it might be with the Nine of Pentacles. It ends up being the Nine of Pentacles. Or it ends up being where you feel that, you know, this isn't something that you can kind of build on. Because maybe with that tower card, you don't like them. Or, you know, they look better in one light than they did when you saw them again. That type of thing. Might mean that they don't turn up and you're standing there in a restaurant in your nice clothing or in a bar. In that night in your nice clothing and they don't turn up and that's because of the tower. Maybe they're off having sex with somebody else. Tower it can be ejaculation card. But the overall out outcome, Capricorn, for this area, for the, your love life in June for some of you guys, is that, you know, the situation will be the Ten of Wands. Maybe you guys will be feeling embarrassed. Sometimes the Ten of Wands will show up for embarrassment. Somebody's trying to cover their face. Be, maybe there will be an embarrassment thing going on here. Okay. And it could be, I could read this two ways. I could say, if this person didn't show up, maybe. Maybe it is in the overall outcome. The situation will be, like well, this person's quite embarrassed. And as a result of that, it could be that the overall outcome is they feel that their hands are tied. Why are their hands tied? It could be because they want to send you a message. Page of Wands. They want to come forward and they want to say, you know what, sorry I didn't turn up. Blah, 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 but this, this, this and this. Maybe, just maybe, it could be, you know, a case of that there is somebody here, they want to come forward, they want to contact you, say blah, de, blah, de, blah. You know, the situation is around a date. This Nine of Pentacles concerns me because it can represent a nice restaurant, it can represent a nice bar, but nevertheless, we do have because of the tower. And we've got these cards here. So something doesn't go according to plan. Could be around the date, maybe with the Nine of Pentacles, you'll, but you've been stood up here. So you're standing all in your nice clothing, but you are nevertheless in a nice bar on your own. And that's because the tower, something you expected to go according to plan, doesn't. And that's why, it could be also that maybe with this tower, maybe this person had some catastrophe go on. But that still wouldn't make any sense why they'd be scared to contact you. Because I feel if this is the person, they're embarrassed. Ten of Wands. They're embarrassed and the overall outcome is their hands are tied. They don't know how to speak to you or contact you. And why is that? Because of the page of Wands, they're a dickhead. I'm only joking, no. They want to contact you. They want to commit. They might also be a dickhead with that page of Wands. They might, might be quite childish. All right, there might be somebody that enjoys doing this type of thing. They don't see anything in it, but they're still embarrassed. You get some people like that. So I do feel here that in the month of um, June for love, um, you know, I think it's a little bit trial and error as well in terms of love. I think that you're over someone. I think for some of you guys, you are looking for love. You do want love. You do want that partner to come in. I think for some, for some of you guys, you'll meet someone but there'll be something dodgy with that individual, okay? Because you've got these negative energies. Eight of Swords is not a great card when it comes to love, and neither is the Ten of Wands. Not unless you're having a good time. Could also say that, you know, the situation is that if this person stood you up because of the tower, okay, maybe, you know, they couldn't be bothered. Maybe there's something unexpected that happened. It could be not just embarrassment with this person, but it might be the situation is this person has too much of a good thing going on. Which is why they find it difficult to come forward. Because it might be with the Page of Wands, they're a little bit of a player type. Page of Wands can be players in tarot. 
So there could be all sorts of reasons, but I do feel that some of you guys might be let down potentially on a date or, you know, it might be that you go on a date and you don't find much in common with the person, it could be anything. But I do feel that some of you guys might be dealing with a bit of a player, but I think it's okay because I think a lot of you guys are very, very confident in how you feel in terms of love at the moment. I think for some of you guys, you've let go of a partnership, but you just don't give a damn. You really don't give a damn about it and you just want to go out there and you do, you have seen someone that you really like, but I think this person might let you down, possibly in June. All right, they might just, but I think that it's not over. I think that they'll want to come back, but they simply won't know how to. All right, that's your reading, Capricorn, for love for the month of June 2017. I would like to say thank you so much for joining me. If you want this to be a regular occurrence on the channel, let me know. It's completely down to you. But thank you for your time, my darlings, and take care. Bye-bye.